myself I met Now that you have seen us all before Tremble little lion Never settle any of your scars The place is wasted in the place I love this time to own a home So learn from your mother And spend your days fighting over just like to uh, take from we what we like to hear as musicians and kind of add our own thing to it and really what it's become about now is just being energetic and having fun on stage and having fun playing the music and just mm -hmm. doing whatever being weird yeah and you know stomping and yelling and <laughs> we pretty much do what makes us happy and if anyone else likes it then that's that's great <laughs> for sure yeah I read something a while back and it was really applying to writing books and it, it basically said uh, write the book you want to read and I think it applies to music too you know mm -hmm. if you trust that you know you have a good taste in music then you can trust that other people will, will dig your music as well mm -hmm. but uh, as far as like personal uh, motivations go like some of us came from completely different roots away from folk music like I listen to classic rock like Iron Maiden and prog metal like dream theater and stuff and it's it's just all music and it's all great and it's led me here and it's fantastic. Definitely. Do what you love. Mm. Love what you do. Because uh, as long as we continue to make music that we love and we enjoy, hopefully people will enjoy it too. <laughs> good thing to get into the whole music it's an international language anyone can understand it no matter where you live no matter what language you speak it's it's amazing stuff uh, I think one of our biggest achievements was that uh, we entered in that uh, supernova contest a couple months ago the uh, Rogers uh, your music contest we won that to our delighted surprise yeah. and went on to compete in the national one which we also won so this was completely groundbreaking for us Mm -hmm. It was and the first time amazing. we ever did something like that because it was completely out of our element and yeah. so we were thrilled when we actually won. <laughs> yeah. So it was one of our biggest achievements. We had always played small coffee shops mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden yeah. big stage, <laughs> big area, tons of people and then like they say our name at the end and it's like, oh, wow, we won. Yeah. <laughs> it was a great it's feeling. totally amazing. So that's really been quite the boost to the bands after all that. That's given us a heck of a lot more drive and also mm -hmm. given us a little bit of financial help mm -hmm. which yeah, of is course. much appreciated led yeah. us to the recent release of our yeah we CD. got we just finished uh, recording this it's our cd um the money helped a lot and uh yeah through tireless out tireless hours of yeah. editing and <laughs> editing and mixing in my basement <laughs> yeah for hours, hours and hours and hours. Finding out that the sun comes up at morning. Yeah. <laughs> we had, to, on occasion, you know, we'd, some of us would have to actually go over to his house and take them outside to see <laughs> to fresh out. air and people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> spent so much time in there. Yeah. It's yeah. incredible. Be social. <laughs> it's soon going to be on iTunes as well. So. Yeah, we should hope. We'll yeah. hopefully get it up on iTunes pretty soon. So you can look for it there. And that's, yeah, we've, we're constantly, you know, getting bigger and better opportunities ahead of us. And so... I'd say that's probably one of our biggest achievements right now, too, is this, this moment, being where we are. Next up, world tour. Yep. <laughs> Well, 
we were to go back in time, we'd probably <laughs> choose to perform with Simon and Garfunkel. Definitely. Because, um, well, we all love their music. We've mm -hmm. we've done some covers earlier in our yeah. career. Yeah, and uh, yeah, they've been a big inspiration to our sort of sound and helping us come up with what we have. And it's amazing the well-written songs that we can just mm -hmm. that we really all pretty much enjoy. And any crowd can enjoy their music as well. Oh yeah, anyone From can enjoy it. Us to up to our parents, like, a lot of mm -hmm. people know their music. And mm -hmm. They've like been a really big. Just like we hope to be one day, you know? Yeah, <laughs> Fit <Someday. everything. laughs> Yeah. Exactly. Well, as far as where we see ourselves in five years, I mean, if all goes well, we'll be maybe touring the world or just hanging out somewhere like London or hanging together and do, having fun, making more music, making more memories. Get it out of Canada, hopefully. Yeah, or <laughs> nothing against Canada, yeah. but you know, we oh, want to go everywhere. We, yeah, of course, we want to share our music. Across Canada, cool yeah. too. That'd be cool. But yeah, pretty much we're just looking to hope, you know, stick together and make more of what we have, of what we've been doing. We're taking this as far as it can possibly go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Our name mm -hmm. has spread greatly since we started, so I think it could go even farther at the pace that it's going right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cool. If we were to win five million dollars in some off chance, uh, I don't know what would we what would we get? New accordion. <laughs> we get a new accordion. We could get a new accordion. One new accordion. <laughs> one new accordion. One new accordion. <laughs> Only one. Really great accordion. But we probably end up getting new equipment and, of course, donating a lot to several fundraisers and stuff because we're big supporters of a lot of causes out there, like the SBCA or feeding people in Africa or any anything really. Yeah, we actually just did a show recently at a. A restaurant with um, it's called the People's Foundation for Sierra, Le Sierra Leone, and we did it with them and raised some money. And so yeah, that was really great. And it mm -hmm. felt great too. Yeah. yeah so that would be one of the main things we do. With, if we got a bunch of money on our hands, we would definitely donate and do some help. benefit shows. <laughs> mm -hmm. Benefit shows. I think one of the best, biggest pieces of advice that we'd have to offer is do what you love to do, no matter what it is. It could be music, it could be writing, it could be anything. Just do what you love to do and see where it takes you. Don't worry about what genre you think will appeal best to the public. Mm -hmm. Do what kind of music makes you happy because yeah. it's taken us this far. And 
I can definitely do great things for any other musician. Mm -hmm. Stick with it and keep on going. Yeah. Don't don't stop when something goes wrong. As long as you're doing what you love, continue to do it because that's something that's really struck through with us too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we've come all this way. You know, we have CDs out. We have our Facebook page that you can visit, find out more about us. We have all these achievements behind us and all these amazing things. And yeah, it's uh, all been about the drive and what we love to do, and that's what's brought us here. If you want to check us out online, you can find out our future shows, you can listen to our music, download our music, uh, just keep track of what out, we're doing, <laughs> find out what we're up to, we're very technology savvy. Creep um, our pictures? Yeah, yeah. our pictures. Uh, you can just check us out on Facebook, it's facebook.com slash goodforgrapes, or just search bar Good for Grapes, and we'll be there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good for grapes. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Close, Close Look. Look.